as part of um part of that with Itchy Trigger Finger, tell us about all the. I mean, like we had, there's a lot of things going on as part of that, and how does um the local um local community get involved with that? If they want to have something to do with that, is there any opportunity for them to get involved with? Um, yeah, absolutely. You know, yeah, apart from just showing up, and yep. oh, about showing up, guys. It's how much? What's the price tickets for this? Well, at the moment, um, we've got um, grab one tickets. Uh, general admission is thirteen dollars, but if you want to pass, if you're competing and you're competing all three days, then you probably need a three day pass, which is only thirty five dollars at the moment through grab one. And the link is on our uh, pricing page, and there's a video that we've got up as well how to find that link. Um, yeah, and that's on the itchytriggerfinger.co.nz, itchy right? That's, yes, that's, absolutely. That's, that's, yep, that's, yep, that's yep, the yep. pricing on that page, on, on the website page, itchytriggerfinger.co.nz. Yep, there's a link there to the uh, pre So tickets. if you're not coming in to compete, what's the pricing for everybody else? Is it the same? It, it pretty much is at the moment, yeah. It's just a, a blanket grab one price at the moment, um, $13 for general admission. Um, I think it's $9 for students and $9 for um This is an all-day event, right? The all day, yeah, yeah. It goes, it nine starts bucks, at nine. nine bucks for an all day event, and then whatever it is over three days, and that's just even discounted as well, I guess, uh, because uh, it's three yeah, days. It's usually 12 uh, so, for the price of a movie, cheap movie ticket, you get to spend a whole day at an event here in Whangarei during the school holidays? Absolutely. As soon as the school holidays start on the 1st yeah. of October, bang. Yeah. Cheapest babysitter you'll find. Yeah, and finally, <laughs> and so talking about the um, age thing there, with um, so there is a limitation on how old or how young a person can be there left alone. Is that what? Absolutely, yeah. So, it's just the normal, the normal rules around that. I'm, yeah. I'm not sure what that is, but yeah. If yeah. So thinking about doing that, then look up the rules first. Yes, please. Uh, and also, um, it's, it is a PG event, so there's a few um, few things going on. So there's food. Uh, it's non alcohol. Uh, it's no alcohols. No, so, no alcohol. it's, so it's family orientated. Yep. Uh, there's a whole lot of different things that are going on there, and we'll keep you guys um, and esports, esports gaming from where we'll, if you want to keep up with what's going on there, keep go on the website, go on the Facebook page, add them to your friends list or whatever, um, like the page, and they'll keep, yeah that way you get notifications so you'll know what's happening. And as a business, if you're out there listening, um, if you want to be involved, go to the website, go to the Facebook page, and send them a message. And let Absolutely. Them know. Yep. Um, there's going to be guest speakers. Um, you've uh, got, yes, we yeah. have a speaker series going on. Uh, Creative Northland is uh, working on putting together a, um, a, a bigger list than what we started mm -hmm. off with. Um, so, yeah, I'm very, very grateful for them coming on and help us, helping us out with that. Um, so we've got speakers for cosplay, we've got speakers for technology, um, more and more people are just coming on every day pretty much and we're getting uh, people registered for uh, the three games that we're advertising at the moment which is PUBG, Fortnite mm. and uh, League of Legends as well. So mm. there's a speaker series, there's going to be cosplay, there's going to be food, uh, there's also going to be um, drone flying, there's going to be a drone simulator there as well, mm. uh, Drone Wolf who is actually quite well known up north, uh, is going to be there with his whole crew um, uh, doing a bit of a display uh, with the drones. Um, we're going to have Dungeons and Dragons. Yeah, lots of more, lots of tabletop games as well. Tabletop, yeah, yeah. yeah. Uh, Magic the Gathering. Yeah. Um, so we'll have a cosplay pit stop as well for people wanting to uh, make slight alterations and yeah. uh, repairs to their costumes. So this is very professional. Is what I like about this uh, Forum North is organised. Uh, it's being held at Forum North, so this whole thing's taking over the Captain Bogan Bill, uh, the mezzanine, the yeah, basically yeah, taking yeah. over it. Yep, yep, yep. And I like this. Uh, I've been looking at the plan for it, and that's what's got me all hyped up about it. Is because it's so well organised and how. And so you got Creative Northland. You've got you guys. You've got uh, Gamers Guild providing the machines. Um, Absolutely, that's yeah. on Fifty Nine Robert Street, Gamers Guild Internet Cafe and Gamers Gaming. Uh, and um, who else we got here? Big names. Uh, GFM around yeah. town. They're sponsoring the website. Yeah. Um, fantastic people, Sarah, yeah. Brian, North, uh, Jordan. Korea, no, sorry, Channel North. Uh, Channel North, yeah, with yeah. Um, Gareth and Luke and Luke Mott. Yeah. Yes. 
um, coming on board because the whole event is going to be live streamed as well. So that's the that's the thing about talking about global guys. If you don't understand what this is, big emphasis here needs to be on about being global but local, right? Global but local. So that's the gaming competition is here, but it's going to be on Twitch. Uh, yeah, yeah. Yep, so yep. a lot of the stuff I don't understand. I just know names. That's right? fine. Yeah, yeah. We're going to be but, streaming yeah. it live onto Facebook, Twitch, and YouTube. Yeah, and Channel North is doing their own thing as well, aren't they? Yeah, they're doing all the overlays and yeah. um, the, the sponsor ads and stuff, yeah. um, the lower thirds and, mm. and all that. Yeah. What's it, I mean, like, I heard something about uh, the amount of money that's, like, prize money or whatever. I mean, what is, I mean, yeah, the winner, championship, whatever, thank you. Ah, uh, right, yeah. Um, so I don't know it off by heart, mm. um, but I know that we've got, um, I think it's $500 for... Uh, the winners in the solo, mm -hmm. and I know there's uh, two thousand dollars cash for the winning teams, and there's another prize for the duo, but I can't think of what it is at the moment. Sorry about that, guys. Um, but we will be putting up uh, the categories, um, the prizes as well. Um, so we've got um, Bluetooth stereos and stuff like that up for yeah. grabs, uh, Samsung TVs. Um, so there's a lot of prizes yeah. up for grabs. There is, there is yeah. prizes and money to be won. Yeah. So, so think yes. of this as a mini Armageddon. Absolutely. At, at and that's what we wanted yeah, to create. At, at the least, the of, of simplest way I can think of myself personally is like, hey, this is a mini Armageddon. Yeah. And, yeah, yeah. you know, and tournaments are here, but it's been shown all over the world. So, Little New Zealand, oh, sorry, Whangarei globally, you know, making a name for itself as Absolutely. a game center kind of hub. I guess. Yeah, 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 yeah. Having that culture, building that culture in front of it, eh? Bringing in tourism and, um, you know, just mm. just excitement for our kids. Because there's, yeah. I mean, there's, um, what have we got? Kenpin bowling. We've got laser tag. Yeah. Um, uh, glow in the dark golf. Oh, yeah. Glow in the dark golf. Movies. And yeah, that's movies. About, that's it? Yeah. Uh, maybe some sports. Yeah, yeah, definitely in sports, yeah. yeah. But on the other side of it, when you're not sporting. So, yeah, yeah that's about really kind of it. So, and Ari, you're actually bringing along... Um, uh, I'm just going to talk about that on Geek Out Day on Wednesday. So oh, I okay. want to concentrate on right. you and music. Okay, oh, cool. You know? and so I appreciate you, that. Uh, as we finish off here, because I know you got to take the sun home. Yep. Music, what's the song that you want? Um, have you guys set up a song that you... Yeah. Want to hear, or is um, that uh, the Japanese band that you're talking about? Uh, yeah, I was, I was thinking about Maximum the Hormone. They're, they're actually uh, really good, but I think one that's um, a little bit funny as well is by a band called Baby Metal. Oh, yes. And um, Give yeah. Me Chocolate. I'll let, um, that would be cool. Yeah, I'll let my producer Tony find that. And, yeah, um, no worries. Oh, the other thing I love about that is Rob Halford before he passed away, he did pass away, right? I want to make sure I've got that right. I don't know, man. I think Rob Halford passed away... Um, he performed with them. Did he? Yeah. Oh wow. And I and I saw that and I thought, well, wow, what a dude. Yeah. What? You don't know? <laughs> <laughs> you I just mailed that into the camera. Yeah, so <laughs> um so yeah, but like baby metal, I mean that was awesome watching. So Tony's ready to go. And hey Shane, thank you for coming in. No worries, man. Uh, You're most so, welcome, thank you. Um guys, please, please check out Itchy Trigger Finger. I'm excited about it. And Shane's got one more word to say about something. Oh, yeah, my business partner Tony has been nominated for, um, <laughs> he's going to kill me, uh, for a b businessman of the year. He's, he's been putting most of this together, so he does deserve most of the credit yeah. um, that goes towards his trigger thing. And that's why on Wednesday on Geek Out, I will have him and Natalie, his wife, and his um, PR person, and do for an interview because um, we talk about the creative thing of putting this thing together because it, there's a lot of work that goes into something like this. Oh, it's, there's yeah. heaps, yeah. And he's been handling it like mm. a trooper. All right, guys, Baby Metal, what was the thing? Uh, give me chocolate. Give me chocolate. And thank you, Shane. I am... No worries, man. I, I, I love it. Thank you, bro. All right, catch you guys later. Uh, sorry, I should say catch you later. And we'll come back after Baby Metal. Uh, actually, we might play a couple more songs and then we'll come back with some Japanese punk rock and also some Indian metal and then we'll probably play whatever else we can come up with but thanks for listening guys this is Malfunction on the Headbangers Ball we got a few more another hour or so I think to go and we'll be right back after some music thanks everyone
Yeah. Cool. All right. How was that? You happy? That was cool, man. That was easy. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Thanks, man. Sweet. All right. Okay. Now I've got to get the little one home. All right.